Hello and welcome to the September the 30th um, meeting for the Kubernetes Contributor Summit North America Planning for 2024, which is going to take place at the Salt Palace in Salt Lake City at Monday, November the 11th of 2024. Uh, please be advised that this meeting is under the code of conduct of the Kubernetes project, which in short means be nice and excellent to your fellow attendees and speakers. Um, I, from lead side, I don't have anything. Brienne is out um, today because of uh, personal reasons. And next up would be Josh. OK. Um, oh, Brienne is out today. Um, at the end, after you turn off the recording, I have something to bring up. So. Um, the um, ops, I uh, were planning the call, the main, what is going to be the main call for volunteers, for volunteers with a schedule um, that can't go out until the schedule is announced, um, which is the main content thing. Um, the other thing that's actually happening in the background is I'm ordering the personalized swag for staff. Um, <clears throat> and so this is a call. If there is somebody who has already been doing work on the summit, that is somebody who has already been helping us put the summit together, who is not listed as a shadow or otherwise on our staff issue, um, please let me know um, so that I don't leave them out. Um, because right now, um, <clears throat> the personalization list I have is the, um, the list of staff from the staffing issue, plus um, a couple of other people um, that I know have already been working on it. Yeah, let's try to give info to Josh until, let's say, latest end of this week, or is this too late? Um, I think so. Um, I've actually been having trouble getting exact deadlines out of the vendor. Um, because whether or not we can do any personalization for the volunteers who sign up later is still up in the air because they haven't given them the deadlines. So, yeah. Okay. But if if we get uh, if we get our things sorted until end of the week, I think that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. Um, let's put this down. Leads. end of week great uh thanks for the update and now the most important thing that we have uh, because also the call for volunteers is uh, reliant on this uh carol you have an update on content uh, hi can you hear me very well yes yeah uh, we published the the list of the the speakers. I know if you can see the spreadsheet. I just shared it. Okay. So. Yes, we can see it. Okay. Um, so this is the final speaker list. If you have any comment, uh, we try to reach some of them to try to merge <clears throat> similar talks and try to, to put as much as we can uh the talks that uh, was approved but this is like the final list if you have any comments or any uh we can discuss so i can take notes uh the only question that i basically have is um in the slot for the main room at 10 45 a.m there is an x is this because we don't have a talk there yet, or is this uh, because you are waiting for um, feedback from someone? Uh, 
Yeah, we are waiting for the site and from the, I, I will double check with uh, with Nitish, but uh, it's a it's lot that I we need to confer some some talk. Okay. Okay. Great. I mean, in general, it's we have every everything basically assigned, which is good. Um, we have still our unconference sessions. Um, the only thing that I would argue is that um, maybe it, it is better to have in the main room only sessions that are uh, 25 minute sessions so that we can have more things recorded because only the main room is going to be recorded. And there we it is probably better to have just more sessions instead of long sessions. So people can also have their recording. Yeah, yeah I am taking notes and well, if, if you have uh, any, uh, I think we have, you can reach us or put your comment in the Slack to yeah. write. I will do this. Any other remarks to this? Uh, no, I think uh, we will confirm now with the speakers that they was the next steps that they when they need to be notified <laughs> and accepted yeah. and. I have that as a point for comms, but I guess I'll go ahead and mention it now. We do have the acceptance and decline uh, messages already drafted. They were supposed to go out yesterday, I think, per the schedules that we posted. So I think we're a little bit late on that. Um, but we can... I know I was added into this sheet, which doesn't look like it has the speakers listed on it. Um, I'll have to work with you all, Carol and Natish, to find all the emails for the speakers so that we can get those sent out. So we have this file. Um, I think I have here. access to that one as well. I just need to find it. I will put the link inside of the document so that we can have it there. Okay. I will use uh, that to send out the acceptances and declines. All right. Um, any other remarks to content? Thanks, Carol, for the update. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Uh, then next up is Castle with comms. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I put my stuff in the meet and greet one. I was like, oh, I'm not yet, but I am. <laughs> there we go. All right. So the last thing that I sent that we sent is the last thing that we sent last time as well. So the unconference issue uh, notification from September 16th, I think is the last thing we actually sent. Um, like I said, the CFP notifications are drafted and ready to go out. We just need to get those sent out. Um, then we have another unconference reminder on October 2nd. Uh, we need some information about the SIG callouts for leads if we're doing that again this time. Are we planning to work that into the schedule? Was that on the list? I think it is inside of the schedule. Let, let, let me have a look. Um, yes, it is. Uh, it is a, from... Contributor call out an announcement. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's 10.15 AM to 10.30 AM. That's basically the, the call out thingy thing. It's after the steering. Wait, wouldn't that be? Oh, I guess so. I see. That's when they end, is what they're aligned with. Yeah, there's a there's an end time and a start time. Oh, I'm scrolled over. Got it. <laughs> yeah, I did the okay. same. Cool. So we'll start getting that message drafted, and we'll send something out to the leads about that on October eighth. Um, and, and, the and then we've got to go ahead. We can basically ask them if they can also do a one-liner that fits the tweet limit of Twitter or of Mastodon. 
Yeah. And also ask them to, well, we should use it to update the new contributor orientation slides as well. Yeah. Where applicable. Like, I guess we should update the form. Like, write it as a tweet here. <laughs> and uh, can this be added to the new contributor orientation deck? Yes or no? Yeah. Is it like feasible that. for new people? Is it feasible only for um, people that are longer in the project? And once we have that form settled, we'll start getting annoying about it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Cool. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff that I figure we're going to have to do comms about in October, but a bunch of them aren't scheduled yet either. Let me look at the list real quick. Yeah. Uh, email timeline. We've got call for volunteers, call outs, unconference reminder. Call outs again, call for volunteers, reg reminder, unconference reg reminder, pre event know before you go. We probably want to have ready in October and ready and then send it probably November 5th. Um, and also schedule live, social event info, and Kubernetes meet and greet info should all go out in October. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a lot of stuff this month. Yeah, and Kubernetes meet and greet potentially also should need to go out via Contrib X comms. You know what? You know what I don't see in there is I don't see a public announcement that the schedule. Oh, there it is. Schedule is live, and it's a question. It's question so... marks. Yeah, that's why it's down there. <laughs> yeah, because we can't actually do the call for volunteers until the schedule is live. Okay. Maybe we, we can take currently... some. Go, okay. Sorry, go ahead. I'll just put a note in here that that needs to go out after the schedule. There is also one scheduled for October 4th. Do you not want to send that one? We have sent information I... about volunteer the volunteer form previously. Yeah, I, I, think, I think the people who are going to sign up for the volunteer form already know about it. Um... And that I'd rather wait I mean, because given that we have most of the schedule, almost all of the schedule from content, it feels like, uh, and Carol, correct me if I'm wrong on this, it feels like we might be able to announce the schedule later this week. This would be my idea to do, but Carol, please jump in if you don't think that this could be doable. Uh, the questions will be wait until what? Uh... The, the question is, can we announce the schedule later this week? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we only need one slot, that is the she's, <laughs> to complete, and the schedule will be yeah. completed. Oh, yeah. there's a question for Brienne in there, though, because usually when we announce the schedule, we have the sched, the embedded sched there. Oh, right. And I don't we know have, if that exists we, yet. What? We already have access to uh, to Sked. Oh, we do? Uh, okay. I, yeah. So I don't know if we have a publish link, but I uh, I know that we can already put in sessions into 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 Shed. And I think that it was also mentioned that a couple of things already were put into Shed. Yeah. Schedule has started to be created too on Shed. So... Okay. I guess it's it's only on us that we decide everything is okay. in and we can publish. Okay. Yeah. The timing I would like is that we announce the schedule and then like two business days later we put out the m main call for volunteers. Yeah. Okie dokie. I'll keep an eye out for that and uh yeah. And we'll, in we'll the finish there. doing the initial draft of the main call for volunteers today, actually, in the ops meeting. So Nice. Okie dokie. All right. Then anything else for comms? Yeah. Any comments, questions, or things that come to mind that we don't have on our list right now? A Kartlin?
Yes, please. Castlan Canyon, when you get them, can you please review the communication for the CSP accepted and the not selected? Yep. I'll do that right after this meeting. Yeah, the drafts are already ready. The drafts are already ready since a while. Yeah. And they were supposed to go out yesterday, but uh, we haven't sent them yet. So we'll we'll get that sorted out today. Yeah, I think uh, now, we, now that we have the list of speakers, I think we can we can decide on how to go about it. Yep. Great. Sounds good. Thanks, everyone. Next up is social. Yep. Things are going good for us. Um, showed the art for the puzzle in the chat last week. I'm going to be placing an order for those in the near future here. I'm going to check with CNCF on, on what reimbursement looks like there. And then um, I think I'm going to sync with Drew today on sending out a call out for volunteers to help staff check in at the social, um, just, uh, you know, staff the door for, for the, at least the early part of, of the, the evening. Um, and then, uh, yeah, once, um, once we close on the location, which I know we have contracts with the location that we talked about, I don't know if things are fully signed yet. Once we fully confirm with Brienne that we have everything locked in. We'll work on getting the uh, contributor website updated with all the details on the location and everything. Um, yeah, I think do that's want, where we're at. Yeah, do you want to do a general, you want to do a general call for volunteers for that? We've, we've usually, in the past, we've just pulled the volunteers from the sort of core summit staff, but we can do Yeah, it. I think we'll just pull it from the summit staff. And that's, I guess, a call out to the summit staff is what uh, is. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, uh, yeah, I don't think yeah. we'll pull it out as a general. I think we'll just send a, a quick communication out to all of the folks that have signed up, you know, as part of this group. Yeah. I, I, I mean, okay. The reason I was asking is because if you want to do a general call, then we would just add it to the major call that we're doing. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll probably just start with this group. And then if, okay. um, for whatever yeah. reason, we don't end up with enough support from this group, yeah. which I, I can't imagine will be a problem, then we can look at sending out a, a wider call out. But I don't think we've ever had a situation where, you know, we don't get enough support from, from the volunteers here. Um, yeah. Yeah, also that that particular role requires a certain amount of seniority mm -hmm. because one of the things that we're there to deal with at check-in is a major sponsor to KubeCon shows up and demands to be let into the contributor party. Yeah. And it's hard for the CNCF staff to say no to that person, so they sort of rely on us to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. happy to do something like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it sounds like you would it relish it, Mario. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. No, I I will be definitely taking uh, some uh, staying some time at this uh, at the door. No, no worries there. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll put a little spreadsheet together, and um, yeah. In any case, yeah, Drew and I are going to spend some t a little time later today syncing up, and uh, yeah, I'll send a little communication out to the group and yeah i think but things are going good great thank so, you so much. <laughs> for the the like venue and all the details for that to be ready to be sent out in a larger com thing uh that'll probably be within the next couple of weeks I, that's what it's looking like. I know from what Brienne said last week, um, you know, we we reviewed the venues, I believe, two weeks ago. And then last week, she said that there was a contract for the venue that we had chosen. I think at this point, we're just waiting on like final confirmation that everything has been signed on both parties side. Um, so it's, it sounds like we're quite close to having everything locked in on on the venue. 
Cool. Just wanted to get a rough sense for when we might be scheduling that email. To yeah, I think it, it seems like it could be as soon as, as next Monday. We'll have final confirmation on everything. Definitely in October. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Thank you, Xander. Next up is registration, but no one is able to join from registration this week. So I guess we will get an update in the Slack. Um, yeah, one thing that I was going over with some of the Reg folks on Friday, and I guess we wouldn't have Brienne here either, is staff that we know have registered are not showing up on the registration list. Yes, so. uh, we uh, people need to. Uh, I I know that uh, people have not yet registered for the summit. No, no, no I, I was saying people who have registered are not showing up on the list. Ah, and, and we I need see. to find out. We need Why? to find out what's going on with that. Um, but but none of the relevant people are in this meeting, so. Okay. And we got a bunch of requests. Uh, we got a bunch of emails from leads for sponsoring people. Um, and we need to make sure that those sponsorships all went through. So for people that are not yet org members, and we just- Yeah, I've notified uh, the reg team on the latest uh, sponsorship, but I've also replied to that email. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. Sandeep. Uh, yeah, yeah okay. I, just, I just, I think I remember when I had registered, no, I had to wait like a good 10 or 12 days. That is because the team has not yet approved it. So basically, this is why you might not be able to see because they have not yet approved everyone. No, that's not the issue. This was, um, I was discussing it with Savitha, who was looking to approve people. And she's like, she's like, you haven't registered yet? And I was like, no, I registered more than two weeks ago. And she says, you're not on the registration list. So she's, she was following up with Brianna on that. Hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, chances are when we've had this happen before, somehow those registrations were getting routed to some other part of the system. Uh, but for that reason, we need to figure it out because it'll be like a bunch. It, it might not just be staff. It might also be other regular registrants. So. Uh, yeah, I actually, I accidentally ended up as a regular registration because of my registration for the group call. Yeah, this could be an issue. If you have not yet registered for KubeCon, that you then don't, don't turn up at uh, KCS registration. This is what happened in the past. Uh, I know at least that it happened for some folks in, in Paris. Because you need to be registered for KubeCon. Yeah, it, I, I for for Paris, um, CNCF would come back went back to us about a week or two, about two weeks before the conference and they noted like which which attendees were not registered for the for, for coupon yet and so uh but that shouldn't affect uh registrations going into our our planning doc currently hmm. like we should be like we should see josh's registration i don't see it okay that's that's weird yep so don't know the cause yet we'll find out Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks for the update there. Um, Kathleen, meet and greet. We have news. Yeah, something like news. <laughs> 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 that might be a bit generous, but, <laughs> but uh, from the George GF Bob crew last week, I heard the events team is leaning toward Thursday lunch for the meet and greet. We'll get you solidified times as soon as we have them. So that's where we're at. Almost news. 
So close. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> as soon as you have those times confirmed, let me know because I want to. I do want to add meet and greet to the list of volunteer opportunities that people can schedule themselves yeah. for. Because, That'd be nice. And we also need well, to get well, calmed we would like out about to, it. Yeah, because was it last year, last time or the time before that where we were just relying on the summit staff and it turns out that everybody had schedule conflicts. So yeah, last time there were some issues with that. And a lot of the work of like our group for the meet and greet can't really start until after we have it on the schedules. So, because at that point we can go to the SIGs and be like, here's when it is and we need you to sign people up to do it. But we need that info first. Yeah. I will poke with them no, to make I, sure it's big enough. <laughs> I have I don't have a call this week. I will poke G next week and I will po and I will annoy Bob probably this week. I can also maybe bother them because that was Tuesday of last week, so check in again. All right. At least news. Thanks. Uh, next up is awards mass yes i don't have any news for now still working on uh, award uh, certificate award uh, pictures to print um but we have time we have like one month ideally not less than one three weeks we have three weeks about three weeks left to finish <laughs> hopefully it'll take less than that is that the date that brianne gave us for when those are due Yes, like End two weeks this before month? the event. Two weeks before okay. the event. I also put some notes in, in the notes about thank you, Laura and Mars, for being willing to try and figure out how to make those files. Working with vectors is very finicky, especially if you've never worked in that kind of program before. So thank you for being willing to take on that challenge. <laughs> thank you for the instructions. I appreciate it. Thank you. Teamwork. Great. <laughs> Which brings us to design. Yes. So I said two weeks ago that I would send out an acceptance letter to the person who created the logo for the event this year. And I haven't done that. And I am very, very sorry about that. Um, but the first week it was because we had new contributor orientation going on. Um, and then I really started thinking on it. And I was like, there are a couple of things I need to figure out before I send the message and then I was in a hackathon last week but there are two important considerations that I wanted to bring up to the team today uh, I was hoping Brienne would be here so that I could mention this to her I guess I'll ping her and see <laughs> if I can get anything from her on that or just I just want to let her know that um, we had said to this person while we were figuring things out that we would want them to have a shirt with the logo design on it since they made the logo um, and the person who created our logo this time, this is their first contribution. Yay! Which means they are not an org member. Uh, so we would either need to get an exception to allow them to go to the event, or assuming they're not going to the event, just send them a t-shirt. So I want to make sure that's okay with Brienne, if we can figure that out. Um, and then the other thing is that I need to ask them for their permission to add the design to the repo. And for that, uh, we currently just have all of the designs kind of into folders in the repo. And I want to create a parent folder for those with a readme so that we have a place to put, this is who created each design. And I'm also thinking that we should add a watermark maybe to those designs. Um, the way that I'm thinking about the copyright of those is the artists and the CNCF have given us explicit permission to use and share those designs, but not for others outside of the community to use and share those designs. Um, so I want to put some words along those lines in the readme, not like, they're not real yeah. legal words. They're just kind of thoughts, <laughs> but wanted to get folks thoughts on that as well. Well, I think... and... go ahead, Matt, Josh, go ahead. I was going to say plus one on watermarking. If anybody has the resources to run the AI poisoning thing as well, um, I would love to do that. Mm. I don't know. I've heard little bits and bobs about that concept, but I didn't know that was a thing that one could run it's, themselves. So it's a tool. Look into that. It's a tool. The, <laughs> the problem is it requires you to have a high powered GPU on your desktop, which I do not have. So, or on a cloud yeah. machine. I, yeah, I just don't have it set up. 
I was, I was hoping I could maybe arrange that. <laughs> the, um, yeah. I have all sorts of mandates to learn AI things. Surely I can work that into a work thing. <laughs> Plus open source is a 20% project for me. <laughs> so I could look into that. Thank you for that suggestion. Uh, granted, the ones that are already there, uh, they do not have the watermark and any anti-AI yeah. stuff on them. So I'd replace them, but they would still exist in the history of the repo. So. It's actually hard to get access to um, blobs in the history of the repo. It's actually one of those reasons what, that made people mentioned for not putting large documents in GitHub because it's it's weird to access them. So Good for that us. actually <laughs> works out to our advantage in this case. Cool. Yeah, so I want to get uh, that additional level created, that new folder created, and the readme created uh, before I send out that email. I have pinged the the designer's brother who I had talked to during the uh, application process uh, to let him know at least that this has been accepted and we're working on a more formal communication. Um, so there has been some notification to them, kind of. Um, but want to get those details sorted out before we send the official email. Hopefully this will be smoother next time. If there is a next time. <laughs> yeah, there, there will be I assume there will be. Yeah. yeah. Um, the... Uh, plus one for um, also getting the person, uh, sponsoring the person, if the person is at KubeCon, for getting them to the uh, to the summit. And I guess that we can find someone who can sponsor. So basically, I would basically approach SigContribX, that SigContribX leads approve um approve the person yeah <laughs> hey Kesslin. <laughs> <laughs> approve <laughs> yeah. because i mean they made a contribution and uh it's uh yeah particularly relevant to the summit so yeah exactly. absolutely if they are at kubecon would be happy for them to do that um yeah. but this person is they just graduated high school and they're going into graphic design. So I don't know if they would be at KubeCon, but. <laughs> yeah. But if they are. They are welcome. They are welcome. <laughs> and also plus one, uh, figuring out um, uh, how to mail it to them. And uh, worst case scenario is I take the t-shirt size and I mail it by myself after the summit. Yeah, also happy to support that. <laughs> I'm glad right. we were able to offer an opportunity like that. So yay. And the person can basically, if they are starting studying it, they can say, we have, I have published work in the internet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully good for them too. All right. Uh, any other topic that we have left or forgotten? If not, I thank everyone for their work. Right. That Have happened. we, are we, we, can you turn off I, the recording? Yes, I will start to stop the recording. And we will say thanks, everyone, and goodbye to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have something to say. Goodbye to YouTube. Goodbye, goodbye to YouTube. YouTube. Goodbye to Let YouTube. Goodbye to YouTube. Let him finish. <laughs> <laughs> <Got it. laughs> no worries, Josh.